So we've been working with our supplier Air Agility to help us forge this pioneering capability. Um, we've established an agile way of working and that's really allowed us to be quite responsive and focused with regards to the features that we're developing and it's really encouraged some quite collaborative behaviours that allow us to work with pace and quality. Uh, we couldn't be ha happier to combine our engineering expertise with our suppliers um, pioneering simulation capability. So digital tools such as enterprise modelling will become critical decision support tool sets and capabilities that will help us to solve some of the most complex challenges this industry has ever seen, such as the transition to a low carbon energy and a net zero carbon ecosystem. We see enterprise modelling as a key tool set that will help de-risk our customers' journeys to net zero by identifying the right investments and interventions at the right time that satisfies their operational affordability and legal constraints. We use an agile product backlog to identify the requirements that we wish to develop into the tool set and consistently reprioritise uh, that product backlog based on feedback from our customers and also our internal users of the tool set. Uh, this tool set can be used across all stages of the life cycle. So by modelling uh, an enterprise, we're able to understand the implications of change on that enterprise across all stages of the life cycle. For example, how do decisions around product, such as reliability and overhaul limits, uh, affect availability and operational confidence in service? How do decisions made around manufacturing influence our ability to provide spares into the system uh, at a rate that satisfies demand? How do operations we make around our MRO enterprise affect how quickly we can return assets into operation? And finally, across all of these topics, what is the influence of varying these parameters on an enterprise, such as through life cost, asset availability, and our waste and carbon footprint? And how do we optimise accordingly?